one day I go to the dad da go to Daddy House Studio and I'm and, 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 and Q Tip and they was in there doing some shit. You need to calm your ass down. Don't want to say rah rah rah. My, my road manager at the time, he fat. He come through with the beat, and and I just tried to calm. Shit. Don't call me my. Try to try to talk to me. Find out some. Shit. Talk about some gossip. Don't call me with no bad news. Apparently, Diddy suggested that Busta change up his style, but Busta wasn't too keen on that. And you know by this point that Diddy isn't a man that likes hearing no the love. So Busta has now come out and made some serious revelations about the man that influenced his style. The love that I felt, the love that I guess he felt he needed to show people that he wanted in return, he was already getting it. Bust discussion of his power over others is not at that unexpected given that he constantly positions himself in positions of authority. He himself in trouble just to prove to somebody that he got real love for him. He also explained why Diddy could be so harsh. To go out of his way to prove to them that he gonna ride for his family, his team, whoever he moving with. This individual pointed out that Diddy is a risky Emma. I don't see how people still left with him. And this user made an interesting observation about the whole Biggie Smalls incident. When Big was killed in law, Diddy's vehicle made the light. But Biggs didn't and Diddy fled law before Big's mom could get there to claim his body. Y'all admire men like this who have no honor because you have none yourself. This person must be able to see the future or something because they called out something fishy in Kim Porter's death just months before she died. Also, I need to let Cassie know that she is sleeping with her enemy. Diddy will never let her be a successful artist. Imagine someone having so many connections in the music industry and you haven't even got one hit post Ryan Leslie, the devil is a liar. As for those wondering who exactly Busta Rhymes is, he is an absolute powerhouse artist, pretty famous in the industry, and is known for captivating audiences with his intricate rhyming technique and lightning fast delivery. He utilizes a technique and style that, as we mentioned earlier, was heavily influenced by Diddy. Busta Rhymes initially broke into the scene as a major member of the hip-hop group Leaders of the New School with albums like A Future Without a Past, 1991, and through 1993, he demonstrated his unmistakable brilliance and paved the scene for his future solo glory. As Destiny would have it, the group split in 1994, paving the way for Busta Rhymes' remarkable solo career in 1996. He unleashed his debut solo album, The Coming Upon the World. The impact was seismic. Critics hailed its brilliance, and fans couldn't get enough. The album soared to the top 10 on the prestigious Billboard 200 chart, solidifying Busta Rhymes' position as a force to be reckoned with not only achieved the illustrious platinum certification from the RIA, a testament to its massive commercial success, but Busta Rhymes was just getting started. With a total of nine studio albums to his name, he continued to push boundaries, consistently impressing critics and thrilling fans with each release, collaborating with an array of music's finest talents. From the iconic Mariah Carey and the legendary Janet Jackson to the unstoppable P. Diddy. Busta Rhymes displayed his flexibility and ability to smoothly merge his unique style with an eclectic spectrum of sounds. Beyond his exceptional musical skills, Busta Rhymes maintains an unrivaled sense of fashion and elegance, typically demonstrated in his spellbinding music videos. His distinct active wardrobe choices and larger-than-life presence only serve to further solidify his status as an icon within the industry. Although in 2015, a surprising incident shook the world of music when he found himself in hot water when he was arrested and charged with assault. The incident took place at a steel gym nestled in the bustling Chelsea neighborhood and involved an alleged protein drink. Throwdown, according to police detective Annette Markowski, tensions had been brewing between Busta Rhymes and a gym employee. It all started innocently enough with a playful water exchange between the two parties. However, what began as harmless banter quickly escalated into an intense argument. The situation reached its tipping point when Busta Rhymes reportedly launched a cardboard container filled with strawberry-flavored protein drink at the unfortunate employee, striking him in the head. The fallout from the incident was Swift Buster Rhymes' attorney, Scott Lemon, wasted no time in coming to his client's defense. Lemon vehemently declared that the assault charges were nothing more than an opportunistic ploy to exploit Buster Rhymes' fame. He boldly stated these allegations are a bunch of bull, and I am confident he will be vindicated. The legal battle was set to unfold with Buster Rhymes scheduled to appear in court on November 6. In the midst of the turmoil, Buster Rhymes turned to social media to express his resilience in an Instagram post 
shared in the early hours of the following day, he conveyed his gratitude to those who supported him throughout the ordeal. Despite the setback, the rapper was determined to stay focused on his music, he revealed plans to re-enter the recording studio, harnessing the experience as newfound inspiration. Thanks to everyone who helped expedite this evening for me Busta Rhymes affirmed I'm good and we're back to the grind. It seems from this altercation that Busta was a little on edge and if he has indeed landed himself in hot water with Diddy, it makes even more sense why'd he be so agitated after all Diddy is notorious for subtracting the people he doesn't like from life. Take Exhibit 1 in what was a stunning turn of events, Jamie Foxx's recent illness prompted a wave of curiosity and intrigue, while others dismissed it as a coincidence. An increasing number of internet sleuths are now diving into a web of conspiracy theories, with fingers pointing towards P. Diddy among the swirling rumors and worry debates. One tweet caught the attention of many, hinting at a possible connection between Jamie Foxx's hospitalization and P. Diddy's alleged involvement in peculiar activities. The tweet read Jamie Foxx in the hospital weeks after exposing P. Diddy and his gay parties. Something smells fishy. This isn't the first time P. Diddy has found himself at the center of such accusations in Eminem's album Kamikaze, particularly in the track Killshot, where the rap icon unleashed rap, Killshot, I will not fail. I'm at the doctor still, but this individual's boss pops pills and tells him he's got skills, but Kells, the day you put out a hit, the day Diddy admits that he put out the hit that got Pac killed. Eminem's statements spurred a firestorm of debate claiming a link between Diddy and the unfortunate end of Tupac Shaker. These songs left many with an unpleasant sensation, reinforcing the existing allegations about Diddy's reputation. Things were just as awful back in 2006, when the mother of the famed rapper, Biddy Smalls, Beletta Wallace, revived her son's murder case. This audacious action threw a gloomy shade over the whole scenario and sent shockwaves. Rippling throughout the music industry, it was during this investigation that LAPD detective Greg Harding stumbled upon a startling piece of information an alleged connection between P. Diddy and the murder of none other than Tupac Shaker, something that as we mentioned earlier Eminem also alluded to where there's smoke there's usually fire folks, the implications were mind-boggling and Valletta Wallace even sued the LAPD for an astounding $500 million, claiming a cover-up in her son's death, the case was reopened and landed in the hands of Detective Carding, who had no idea what awaited him as Carding delved deeper into the investigation, he began to believe that the murders of Tupac and Biggie were intricately linked startling evidence emerged raising a haunting question in everyone's minds, did Puff Daddy, as he was known back, then hire Hitman, to carry out Tupac's assassination, after three years of tireless pursuit Detective Carding reached a shocking conclusion, he had alleged that seen Puff Daddy Combs had put an astonishing $1 million bounty on both Tupac Shaker and Sij Knight. This came in the wake of a heated rap feud involving P. Diddy and Biggie, Harding further claimed that Diddy had connections with La Gangs and allegedly enlisted the help of a Crips member named Dwayne Keith Keffy D. Davis to execute the hit it sounds like the pages of a thrilling crime book, doesn't it? But the story deepens. Whispers claim that Biggie Smalls' as then-wife Faith Evans may have been privy to Diddy's purported deal to take down Tupac. Following Tupac's death, Kefiti allegedly reached out to both Diddy and Evans, holding them responsible for the awful death. However, the bombshell disclosures don't stop there in 2019. Diddy's ex-girlfriend Gina Hewen, known as Virginia Feth, came up with serious claims of physical abuse in a series of revealing interviews. Virginia reported a turbulent relationship, riddled with mental, emotional, and physical suffering. Virginia disclosed that during her time with Diddy, he constantly compared her to his other ex, Cassie, painting her as the bad one while elevating Cassie as the good one. Further, she claimed that Diddy pressured her into terminating two pregnancies, offering her money to end their unborn children's lives. The emotional toll was devastating, but it didn't stop there. Virginia accused Diddy of physically abusing her out of jealousy when he watched her cordial connections with rapper Meek Mill, she related terrifying episodes when Diddy forcibly pulled her hair, hit her head, and even flung a shoe at her, as if the drama wasn't already excessive Virginia, dropped yet another bombshell during the interview, she claimed that Diddy was then dating Lori Harvey daughter of the famed Steve Harvey, according to Virginia she witnessed the pair together at Super Bowl parties, reveling in each other's company, it seems that Diddy's love life is just as complex as the allegations swirling around him, now it's crucial to remember that these are serious allegations and should be treated as such until proven otherwise, yet, they've ignited a whirlwind of speculation controversy, 
and unanswered questions surrounding the rap mogul. So is Diddy responsible for all of this for the terrifying warning sent out by Busta Rhymes? We don't know for sure, but given his background and the claims around him, it certainly isn't out of the range of possibilities. That's all for the video guys, thanks for watching and good night.